Question 10. The graph y equals x squared meets the line y equals k, where k is greater than 0, at points p and q as shown in the diagram. The length of the interval pq is l. Let a be a positive number. The graph y equals x squared over a squared meets the line y equals k at points s and t. What is the length of st? Let's go through the question. So we have a graph, a parabola, y equals x squared, meeting the horizontal line y equals k at points p and q. Now the length of interval pq is represented with the capital letter L. Now let a be a positive number and the graph of y equals x squared over a squared meets the line y equals k at points s and t. Now I've sketched the graph of y equals x squared over a squared and I've sketched it wider than the original parabola. Now, it could be narrower but it's just easier if it was wider since a can be any positive number. And if a happens to be equal to let's say the number 2, that's x squared over 4, that will result in a parabola that's wider than the original parabola. But it doesn't matter what the value of a is as long as it's a positive number. And the points s and t lie on this parabola and they represent the points of intersection of this parabola and the horizontal line y equals k. Now the question is asking for the length of st, so that's this length here between these two points. But if we look at the responses, it wants the length in terms of capital L. So our first step is to determine the length of pq or capital L. And we're going to do that by finding the x-coordinates of points P and Q. Now it helps to know that the parabola y equals x squared and the parabola y equals x squared over a squared are both even functions. So if we get the x-coordinate of one point, then we've found the x-coordinate of the other point, which is a reflection of the original point in the y-axis. So to find the x-coordinates of points p and q, I'm going to solve simultaneously the equations y equals x squared and y equals k. So I could substitute k for y here and then solve for x. So solving the equation x squared equals k, taking the square root of both sides, we get x is plus or minus the square root of k. And they represent the x-coordinates of points p and q. So the distance from the y-axis to either point q or p is the square root of k. So to find the length of pq, it'll be the square root of k plus the square root of k, which gives us two root k units. The next step is to find the x-coordinates of points s and t. And we're going to find it using a similar method. So I'm going to solve the equation x squared over a squared equals k. So again, that's solving simultaneously the equations y equals k and y equals x squared over a squared using substitution. And that's how we end up with this equation. Multiplying both sides of this equation by a squared, we get x squared is equal to a squared times k. And then taking the square root of both sides of the equation, we get x is equal to plus or minus a root k. So the length of st is equal to twice the length from the y-axis to the point t. Now the x-coordinate of point t is a root k. So doubling that, we get the length of st is equal to 2 times a root k, which is equal to a times 2 root k. And 2 root k is the length of interval pq, which we found up here. So the length of st is equal to a times l, which equals to al. Therefore, the correct answer is option C.